Finding local and extreme values. Question here is, find the maximum and minimum value of f of x equals to 3 times x to the power of 2 over 3 minus 2x on the interval minus 1, 1. Now, whenever you have a question like this, we can get local maximum minimum and extreme maximum minimum. So, whenever we have a boundary condition as shown, in that case, we can expect extreme maximum minimum or absolute maximum minimum values, right? Now, these are the points which could occur at either critical point, singular points or end points. Now, I want to define this once uh, for you. And critical points are normally the values where f dash x equals to 0. And singular point is where f dash x uh, is undefined. And the end points are like given here. So that's the boundary values. Let's say from A to B. So these are the end points. So whenever you want to find local and extreme values, then you have to check all these points. In some, most of the time, what we do is we combine these two terms. Critical points and singular points are referred to as critical points themselves. So we say critical points. Or we at use the word critical number. Now, in my videos, when I use critical number, I will mean both combined, right? So, in fact, most of the time, we mean critical number only, where we are trying to figure out derivative of the function, and its value as zero or undefined is actually a point where we could get extreme values, local or absolute, right? So, that's the whole idea. So, we have a function here. So, let's find the derivative of this function and figure out where could be the local or extreme values for maximum minimum for this function. So f of x equals to 3 times x to the power of 2 over 3 minus 2x. f dash x will be equals to 3 times 2 over 3x minus 2, right? So that simplifies to 3 and 3 cancels. We can take 2 common and x to the power of, sorry, 2 over 3 minus 1. So let me write first 2 over 3 minus 1, right? Now that gives you x to the power of minus 1 over 3, right? So we simplify this and we write 2 x to the power of minus 1 over 3 minus 1, correct? So that is our derivative for the given function. Now it has one value which is we can figure out what is this value which will give us a zero or undefined value. So if you see this function, x to the power of minus 1 over 3 is kind of like this. We have a cube root in the denominator. So it's kind of like this, 1 over cube root of x minus 1. You see that? It makes things very clear. So I'll write again this equation, take common denominator and say, well, we have cube root of x in the denominator and the numerator we have 1 minus cube root of x. So that that is the simplified form of the given function. Now here we can get a 0 for x equals to 1, right? And we get an undefined number at x equals to 0. So that is called the singular point. So in this case we can say the critical point is is when numerator is 0. That means when 1 over square root of x equals to 0 and that gives us a value of x equals to 1. And we also have a singular point and that is when the denominator is 0. That means the cube root of x equals to 0. That means x equals to 0. So at times we will just refer to them as critical numbers. So the points on f dash x where either the derivative is 0 or undefined. But in any case, these are the two points of our interest in addition to the boundary conditions where we should be checking the value of the function and then coming to the conclusion whether we have local maximum minimum or absolute maximum minimum, right? So let's find the value of the function at all these points. Now this one is on our boundary condition itself. So we'll check for functions value at minus 1. 
So if I put minus 1 here, what do I get? Minus 1 squared to the power of so 3 minus 1 to the power of 2 over 3 minus 2 times minus 1, right? So when you square minus 1, it becomes positive, right? And cube root is 1. So we get 3 here. And this is minus and minus becomes plus. So 3 plus 2 is 5. So we get a value of 5 of f of minus 1. How about f of 1? Now f of 1 is, let's put 3 times, 1 to the power of 2 over 3 minus 2 times 1. So we get a value, this is 3 minus 2 which is 1. And the value of the function at 0 is 0 minus 0 is 0. Now from these points you can see that absolute maximum is at f equals to minus 1, correct? So we get an absolute maximum point here. So this is our absolute maximum. Right? Let me push the paper a bit here so that you can see the results. So we have answer here is absolute maximum is the point is minus 1, 5. So maximum value is 5. And the point is minus 1. The value of the function is 5. Now, the lowest value here is 0, right? So absolute minimum is at 0, 0, at the origin. And then we have a local maximum or minimum here, right? So what will you call it? It is an end point, it's not a turning point. So we'll not name it anything, right? So we have absolute maximum minimum in this particular case. If you draw this function, you, you are going to see it kind of like this. Let me sketch it on the side here. So this is our point minus 1, 5, and that is at the origin, 0, 0. And at 1, we get a point which was, so if I put 1, I get 1. So this is 1, 1, right? So, so these are, this is how it will look like. And from here, you can see we have an absolute maximum here and absolute minimum. So that is our answer, right? So this is how we can find extreme values for a given function. I hope with this you understand uh, two critical points, which are one we call critical point, the other one singular points. But most of the time, we are not using the term singular points. So we kind of merge it with critical points. And we also use a term which is critical number. So critical number is a number at which the derivative of our function is either zero or undefined. So when you are trying to find the extreme values, it's a good idea, or it is must, to check your values at critical number and at the boundary conditions, right? So these are the points which should also always be checked. And once you check these points, then you write down your answer, okay? I hope that helps you. Thank you and all the best.